Hello there guys and welcome back to the FIFA 21 PSG career mode and today we've got episode 13 of the career mode and in today's episode we could be lifting the League 1 title. So as you guys know then, if you watched last episode we unfortunately got beat in the semi-finals to Bayern 3-2. Real Madrid beating Liverpool 3-2 in their game, which means Bayern and Real Madrid will go head-to-head -head in the final of the Champions League. But coming up then, the main focus in today's episode is the League One. And as you can see, we're on 82 points at the moment. All we need is three more points to get up to 85. And it's literally impossible for Monaco to go and outbeat us with that. Because only two games remaining. That means six points remaining. And that means Monaco can only get a possible 84 points now this season. So all we need to do is go out and win our next game. And we'll be lifting the trophy. Earlier on in the season, we did get knocked out in the quarterfinals of the French Cup to Monaco, who beat us 1-0. And like I said, that's one more trophy this season. We won't be able to lift, so that's why this League One trophy is so important to us. We need to lift at least one trophy this season. So you can see now in the final is going to be Marseille taking on Bordeaux. Coming up then in today's episode, the last part now of the season, the final few games, and we're going to be talking about who we're going to sign in in the next season, who we're going to sell, and our objectives for the next season. So if you guys do end up enjoying today's video, please go down below and smash the like button. We hit 100 likes for today's episode. That would be amazing. And also, guys, majority of you watching right now actually aren't subscribed. So go down below, hit the red subscribe button, and also the little bell to be notified of when these videos go live onto YouTube. So I'm just going to quickly talk about this topic now. We are going to go in depth a little bit later on in the episode. But I want you guys to let me know down below right now which players do you think we should sign next season to go on and win the Champions League? Because obviously right now in the shortlist we have Sergio Ramos who is actually making the Champions League final this year as you can see with Real Madrid. Now I'm thinking possibly, um, just a little scenario, if Real Madrid go on to lose that final with Bayern, maybe Ramos would join us. Maybe he would. But if he goes on to win with Real Madrid, maybe he wouldn't. But we all know this man is capable of winning a Champions League final. So maybe a good signing for next season would be him. We've also got Dele Alli who was linked with PSG in real life. But I want you guys to let me know down below any other signings we should possibly make for the next season. So here we go then. Let's get into the game that could be our title winning game. We are taking on Gion. I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. Or Gion. Or Gion. Um, maybe that's how you pronounce it. If I'm wrong, let me know down below, guys. But anyway, the 19th in the table at the moment. So a pretty good game we've got here. And a game we should be winning with this side we've got. Obviously, you guys could say we could possibly go on and sim this. But I want to see us go on and lift the trophy at the end of the game. So we're going to play our strongest start 11 for this one. A team that have pretty much played all season. And let's get into it. Here we go then, into the game, which could mean we do lift a trophy at the end of it. We are taking on a team that are currently 19th in the table. So, of course, they're going to be fighting to stay up in the league this season. So, again, they've got to go out there, do the job, and get the three points. Verratti, okay. Mbappe, through for Icardi. Go on, Icardi. Finish this one. Ball roll it. Shoot, and that does find the back of the net. Four minutes in, and Icardi does score. And I do believe he is the current top scorer in the league this season. And that was great from him. Ball rolls it and then finds the back end. The bottom right-hand corner pretty much. And he does score the first goal of the game. And this is what I'm saying. We need to go out there and just do the business today. We can't afford to mess around. And Mbappe, a great through ball once again. And Cardi just been able to beat the defender. Rolls it wide and then beats the goalkeeper. And there we go, the first goal of the game. Oh, this is a great ball. Dion now. Okay, possibly a chance to cross it in. They're not going to though. Pressuring him, try and get this ball back. Okay, they've still got it. Savage now trying to do the deed and get the job done. There we go, Kimpembe. Let's go, let's go. Get this up to Savage. Neymar make the run. Go on, Neymar run. Run, 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 run. There we go, Neymar's through. Go on, Neymar. This is it. This is your time to shine now, Neymar. Go on, roll it inside. Finesse shots. Mbappe to finish it off and Mbappe does finish it off. 21 minutes in. And there we go, the second goal of the game. Unfortunate Neymar's goal didn't go in. I thought that would have looked quite nice. You know, running inside, rolls it inside. And then Finesse shots it off. But unfortunately, the goalkeeper got to it. Here's another replay of it. Neymar rolls it. Finesse shot, but saved. But Mbappe, luckily, the goal goes in. And there we go, the second goal of the game. Possibly a chance here for them to get on to. Great pass there. And, okay, through the middle, maybe. Verratti is going to be through the middle. They're not going to find the back of the net. 2-1 now in this game. And we're going to book our ideas up. We can't be messing around in defence like that. 40 minutes in. And the opposition go ahead and score. We need the three points in this game. And like I said, they'll be looking for the three points as well. But uh, we just can't allow them to have it, unfortunately. And you can see here, a great pass. Pass once again through the middle. Kimpembe just not on the right side of him. And there we go. Manages to beat Navas just before half-time. It's now 2-1 in this game. Verratti to Savic to Neymar. Neymar looking for options. Three for Savic. Go on, play the pass once again. 
To Mbappe. Oh, messed this one up. Cross it inside. Neymar. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I did not expect that whatsoever. I really thought I messed that up big time. And Neymar scores. Oh, my God. Thankfully, he scores 3-1 now in this game. And Neymar possibly the goal of the season. And that just felt so tight in the middle. Savage to Cardi, where I should have turned back and shot. Mbappe crosses it inside. It's quite tight there. But pulls it off Neymar and then bottom right hand corner. The goalkeeper just couldn't get to it. And here's a closer look at that shot. And yeah, look at that for a goal. There we go. Neymar scores. And there we go. 3 1 in this game. Oh, how has he kept that ball in? Okay, did not expect that whatsoever. Been out having to track back now. Okay, oh, they don't really made anything from that. Although this is how the goal happened last time. He played the pass off. And the pass through. And that's how the goal happened last time. What did I sell you? And I've got to start getting used to that pattern if that's how they're going to try and score in this game. Play it out wide, work it back, outside the box, through the box. But they do get themselves a corner this time out. They are going to make a change as well. Come well, on, let's get in the box here. Let's try and get this headed away. And come on, Kimpembe, someone. Ricardo Pereira. It falls back out now. Okay, Mbappe, Akadi, get to that. Akadi can't get to it. We, he can't get to it either. Okay, stop it. There we go, Marquinhos. Does the job we all want him to do. And Verratti now getting caught up on this right-hand side. Get this up to Mbappe. Go on, Mbappe. Take it, take it. Okay, back to Verratti. That's it. Inside. Akadi, Savic. Oh, just the, pass, the last pass there from Akadi. Just really let us down. Well, that's a good ball. Over the top again on this right-hand side. That's where they like to be. And then play the pass. And they play the pass once again, don't they? Yeah, then they play it across. And okay, this time go directly to him. And the ball through. Oh, come on. Let's get that one cleared. There we go. And like I said, I'm just a bit surprised they've stuck to that. I don't really see that with AI that often, that they stick to one form of attack. But it's nice to see. Um, Mbappe, here we go. Okay, he's stuck here with not many options. Play the pass. Back to Mbappe. Here we go. Go on. Finish it off. Oh, it's not going to beat the goalkeeper, though. Savage gets the ball through. Akadi looking for Neymar. And he's going to try and find the pass to Mbappe. Isn't going to be able to get it to him. But how many minutes are added? One minute added on in this game. Neymar might as well go and try and pressurise him. The minute is up. The ref blows the full-time whistle. And there we go. We win the League One trophy this season. We're a free on win for our final game. Well, not our final game. But, you know, there'll be two games to play. But it's the final game we needed to win. And there we go. Akadi, Mbappe and Neymar all scoring in this game. And it gives us the win and the three points we need, which now means Monaco have no chance of getting above us in the table this season. The most points they can get is 84. We've now gone up to 85 points in the table. So now, like I said, we have won the trophy. But again, I don't feel satisfied. You know, I'd feel satisfied if we won the Champions League as well, or at least made it to the final. But of course we haven't. So that's going to be the main priority for next season. To go ahead and win that Champions League trophy. But to, but to, like I say, to go ahead and win this trophy. People could say it doesn't mean much. PS3, the best team, you know, in the league by a mile. And of course, but you know, Monaco put up a good fight. You know, not too many points behind us. And the same with Ren. At some point, I don't think we've ever lost. I don't think we've ever gone behind, like, into the second place. But Ren have definitely been in second place the whole time. Putting up a good fight. And now Monaco. But there we go. Marquinhos lifts up the trophy. And that's our only trophy this season. Oh, actually, we won the, um, I think it's like the French equivalent of the uh, Community Shield. But we won that at the start of the season. But there we go, the main big trophy this season. We do go ahead and pick it up with two games to spare. So there we go, then. We have been crowned champions of the French League. And what a great season it has been. Like I said, you can see now we won it with two games to spare. The record so far, 26 wins, 7 draws, 3 losses on 85 points. Only conceded so far all season 21 goals. No team has less. And the team with the most, actually, I think is naught there with 61. Okay, no. Um, the team there in 17th place on 66 goals conceded. But like I said, conceded only 21 goals this season is pretty amazing. 73 goals scored so far. So I think all what is left to do in this season then is get prepared for the second season. This is where I need your guys' help down below. So I'm just going to head and took a look at Ramos. And I thought, you know what, take a look, see how much he'd be worth and see how much we could buy him for. And he isn't willing to move to the league that isn't competitive enough for his skills. So that's the third player this season we tried to sign, which wouldn't join for that reason. But again, we've got Deli Ali in the shortlist. But I want you guys to let me know down below who should we sign where do you think in the team is a weak point at the moment? When I take a look at the team, the front three is amazing. 
And on the bench, we've got Moise Keane, Dembele and Zaha that can all replace them three. So Moise Keane for striker, Dembele on the right, Zaha on the left. So that pretty much replaces the front three. And I feel like that front three is pretty capable. But now moving on to the midfield, I think we could possibly do with, because uh, Pereira is on loan with us. If Garner Gate is to move to the bench, we could do with a new start 11 CDM. Whether that be Ndidi or Zakaria, uh, for example, I've seen his name mentioned quite a lot as well. But I do think we need, like I say, Dele Alli or another centre mid to sit on the bench here for us. Because Rafinha, again, is a decent player. But uh, if we do want to go ahead and win the Champions League next season, we do need more quality in the side. And uh, yeah, like I say, apart from that, you know, possibly two more midfielders. Defence is pretty strong, you know, Kimpembe now 85 rated, uh, Marquinhos 88 rated, left back Benat 84, possibly do a higher rated left back if there is one. But I think apart from that, just maybe, you know, upgrade the bench. Apart from that, I don't think there's many other places we could upgrade. So here is then the career summary for this season. So let's go down below. You can see here the trophy championship, which I'd like to say again. Um, if, if I haven't mentioned it, I think it's the French version of the Community Shield, which we did go on and win against Marseille. Um, the, the French Cup, we got knocked out in the quarterfinals. The League One, we won. And then the, the, the semi finals of the Champions League, I can't believe that. We got no Manager of the Month awards and no Manager of the Year awards. Our biggest transfer fee was Savage, 105 million. And our biggest sale was Di Maria, 91.4 million euros. League position, first, we played 56 games, won 39 of them, lost only 7 games and scored 111 goals. So I've gone ahead then and seen the final two games. We did end the season on 91 points. Monaco only on 80, level with Ren, but we got two goals more on the goal difference there. You can see, so obviously, Monaco didn't even get to 84 points, which was um, expected if they won their last two games. Well, no, last, yeah, last two games if they won the last two or last three or something like that. The highest they could get was 84 and they didn't even reach that, but we reached 91. But now I'm going to go ahead and take a look at how the other um, cups and everything looked. So I don't think this has been played yet. It hasn't been played. 5th of June. Um, let's have a see at this. Um, okay, promotion playoff hasn't been played. 0-0. Nil, nil. Or maybe that, that can't have been played. 0-0? Nil, nil? That must have a replay, surely. Um, the Super Cup, let's see who won that. And it was Bayern at 2-0 against Sevilla. Champions League is going to be Real Madrid. Beating Bayern in the final 2-0. Um, so you can see our run in the Champions League. We topped the group with 18 points. Round of 16, we beat Sevilla 3-2, which was tough. Really tough games against Sevilla. Into the quarterfinals, we beat Man United 4-0. 2-0 uh, in both games. And then semi-finals, we got knocked out to Bayern 3-2. And then Bayern went on to into the finals to face Real Madrid and got beat by them 2-0. And there we go, as you can see as well, the winner of the Europa League is going to be Leicester City, winning it 2-1 against Bayer Leverkusen. And let's just take a look at Leicester City, because obviously we've just done a career mode with them as well. Let's just take a look at Leicester City, the bottom group I'm pretty certain they are going to be in, and they do, because they are in that group. So, 13 points in the group, round of 32 they faced. Okay, there's so many teams here. Um, I'm just trying to filter through quickly. Le uh, Leicester City, am I, am I missing Leicester City here? Have I gone past Leicester City? What the hell? Okay, there they are. 4-1 in the round of 32. Round of 16, they went on and won against West Ham at 3-2. Quarter finals, they faced the team at Rio Ave. Uh, beat them at 4-1. Leverkusen beating Roma 5-2. Semi-finals at 7-1. Leverkusen beating Leipzig 3-0. And then the final being 2-1 to Leicester City. So I think then, just before we end today's episode off and get started with the second season... Uh, let's go and take a look at the other leagues. So the Premier League, who won that? And it was Liverpool on 90 points. Man City in second place, four points behind. Um, obviously the league one, we obviously know who finished in that league. Uh, Bundesliga, who won that? Bayern Munich. Leipzig, okay. Leipzig, but, well I guess they did get knocked out of the Champions League. Obviously they went into the Europa League, but they did get knocked out of the Champions League. But went on and won um, the Bundesliga on 84 points. Bayern behind them by one point. But Bayern, uh, no, Dortmund, sorry, behind them. But Bayern in third place on 72 points, a bit surprising in my opinion. The Serie A goes to Juventus on 94 points and then the La Liga does end up going to Real Madrid who have capped off a good year, 100 points in the, uh, in the La Liga and also get in the Champions League. But there we go then guys, that's going to be it for today's episode and the final episode of Season 1. I hope you guys have enjoyed Season 1, a lot of ups and downs, you know, getting knocked out of cups. Getting knocked out of Champions Leagues, then going on to win the title. Um, it's been an up and down season, but hopefully next season, with your guys' help, we can go on and win the Champions League. So don't forget, guys, leave your comments down below in the comment section, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.